What is going on, everybody? Uh, welcome to another episode of the Athlete Special. Spencer here, and yeah, I'm looking forward to this quick little Wednesday episode. Um, hump day, happy hump day. We are going to look into some of my shoes and some of the Georgetown gear we got. So it's sort of like a gear drop, shoe drop video for D1 athletes. Um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to showing you guys my shoes that I wear and um, hoping I can give you guys some advice on the types of shoes and the types of gear you want to be wearing. Hope you guys enjoyed the little music video we made. Um, you know, it was all, as the song says, we're all just doing it for some fun. Um, I totally just wanted to make a music video uh, just to see what would happen and write a song. And, you know, I did what I wanted to do, and I, I hope that you guys didn't take it too seriously. The shout outs to the other YouTubers was, it was all in good fun. Hope you guys enjoy the gear video. Let's go on to our first shoe. All right, so first shoe I'm going to talk about, and one of my favorites, is the Nike Zoom Structure 22. Um, this is my just basic training shoe that I wear all the time and it's a strong st uh, stability shoe. Uh, it's really a hard sole. Um, so I wouldn't wear the, this type of shoe if you like have kind of softer feet. Um, and basically I wear this shoe for almost every run um, or I'd say about half the runs of the week. And it's really good for like tempos because uh, there's so much push off with the shoe because it's so hard um and i've been wearing the shoe since freshman year of college um i've been i love the structure i know galen rupp wears it as well uh this is a pretty cool color as well um but yeah it's it's definitely one of the best nike training shoes out there uh i think it's like 80 to 100 dollars, so it's not that expensive nike structure is great shoe i love wearing them and uh, comment down below if you have any like specific questions about the shoe, but this is just what I wear for mostly training runs. I don't do track workouts in these. I wear flats for those, but I'll talk about flats later. Uh, but this is great for like tempos, long runs, medium, easy days, uh, just all the runs in the week, all that stuff that you don't see. But yeah, love the structures. All right, so the counterpart of my Nike structures that I wear on the other half of my easy days is the Hoka Arahi. And now you guys are probably all really familiar with Hoka, um, the Cliftons, that's like the most famous one. But the Arahi, I discovered it about a year and a half ago when I was having some really bad plantar fasciitis issues during my uh, long summer training on the roads. And I just put this shoe on and immediately the pain went away. Um, Hoka's are known to be super thick, um, super stability, but super cushiony and really, really light. This shoe is light as heck. Um, and yeah, you guys might be asking, wait, this is not a Nike shoe. Uh, your school is a Nike school. Yes, um, you have to order the shoe separately through the training room at Georgetown. They're really flexible. That's like one of the biggest positives with uh, Georgetown that they allow you to use other brands if you need to but we're still definitely like big time on Nike go Nike this is not a pro Hoka advertisement or any advertisement this shoe like I said very light and it you can throw hundreds of miles on the Arahis um, I wear this shoe honestly I wear it probably more than my Nike structure I love this shoe and um, it's also great for tempos it's also easy runs perfect and you know, one thing about the shoe that I like is that it sort of just molds into your foot well. Um, you know, some shoes you wear it and it doesn't wear well with your foot. This shoe really wears well. Um, and I want to hear what you guys have to say about uh, Hoka's in general, because I love that brand. Um, but yeah, this has honestly been one of my favorite shoes for a long time. The last year and a half I've been wearing them. And it's, like, it's a perfect balance between this and the uh, structures that I wear. <laughs> All right, let's move on to talking about my flat that I wear. Um, if you don't know what a flat is, it's just a smaller shoe that you'd wear for faster workouts. And this is it. It is the Nike Zoom Streak LT, I think LT3. Um, and if you're wondering about the color, uh, green and pink, I don't know. It doesn't, it's, I think it's really cool. Comment down below if you think the color is cool. Um, but yeah, let's talk about the actual shoe. I use this for track workouts um and like road racing type of things 
and yeah, just like strides and stuff. So you wear these about twice or three times a week, eh, twice a week for just workouts. I wouldn't do a tempo on these shoes, but wow, these shoes are unbelievably snug and uh, light. I mean, these shoes are, it's basically like putting socks on. Uh, I joked around like two or three years ago to my coach that these shoes are probably lighter and faster than like actual track spikes because they, they're just so, so small um, and so light. And I would, my only warning with these shoes is if you have Achilles issues, um, don't, I wouldn't wear these shoes because they are incredibly aggressive. Um, you're basically just running with socks on. I've always worn these. I haven't had any issues with them. I've always loved them. And uh, you can't run that many miles on them. They get pretty worn out, but we don't wear them that often. Uh, so they, they last about the, the whole year. We get one pair of these a year and they, they easily last the year. So I would say these are great shoes as well. And um, let's move on to the final shoe I'm gonna talk about, which is my track spike. <laughs> All right, so last shoe we are talking about is my track spike, and here it is, the Zoom Victory Elite 3s, I want to say. And these shoes, probably the best spikes out there, in my opinion. Maybe I'm being controversial, maybe not, but these are incredible, incredible shoes. Um, plastic bottoms, so I wouldn't wear these for more than like a mile to four. 5k is probably the longest I would wear these shoes in because of they're they're also incredibly aggressive but I only ever wear these shoes in races on the track specifically and really hard workouts where we're trying to run like fast 400s or fast 200s or maybe 600s um, but I wouldn't wear these in any easy type track workout that's pretty obvious but I absolutely love the Nike Zoom Victory Elite 3s uh, they've got the little hole in the back. They're so light. I mean, each shoe I've talked about has been lighter than the previous. These shoes are incredible. Um, the plastic sole on the bottom makes them so powerful to jump off of uh, or to push off of when you're running. And um, I've got nothing but praise for these shoes. Uh, I don't really wear that big of actual spikes for the indoor track circuit, but um, yeah, I, I, I can't emphasize enough the plastic sole really helps you push off um, and you just feel powerful when you put these shoes on. Powerful but light and that's exactly what you want to do to run fast. Now I'm going to quickly just lay out all the gear we got this specific year at Georgetown um, just so you guys can take a look. Alright guys, I just laid out the gear. This is most of it from uh, this year, maybe a little bit from last year as well. Uh, but there's not even enough room for all of it. So let's just flip this camera and see all the gear real quick All right, so let's just take a quick overview of all this stuff and then I'll kind of talk more It's hard to even see it in this sea of gear. Okay, so here. So we got the t-shirts right here t-shirt more t-shirts This is t-shirt stuff t-shirt t-shirt uh, These are all the shoes again these are the long sleeve shirts that we wear. This is a pullover we wear before races. Um, more long sleeve right here. This is a nice tight long sleeve shirt. And this is a really nice pullover we wear all the time. This one right here, very comfortable, very, very comfortable. Um, okay, so now let's move on to the shorts. So yeah, we just get some casual gym shorts for lift and then half tights here actually real quick i am planning on wearing half tights for my next race so comment down below if you think that's a good idea or a bad idea i think it's time for the half tights switch over and then um here are some more just running shorts that we got these ones are really nice as well these running shorts these running shorts um a lot of shorts these are some of my racing shorts that i wear um and then here are just two pairs of tights we got um yeah there's also some more stuff um but this is just the general gist of our gear um we also have like baggy pants we warm up in but yeah this is all of it all right everyone hope you guys enjoyed this video on my shoes i wear and the gear we have as well um friday i'm headed out to boston again to run another fast mile let's hope it's another good one 
and um, I'll see you guys then. I'll probably post Saturday night, so stay tuned and um, subscribe for more. See you guys next time.